dry as fuck. First can of the day. Hello and welcome to my stream. Yeah, oh fuck, Left for Dead. Oh no, I have not changed the stream title from when I was cracked out and falling asleep last night. Dear God, that is not at all what we're going to be playing. Whoops. Well, I better, better go and change that before I Continue with what I was talking about. Hello, Royal Highness. Thanks for drawing my attention to that. <coughs> I mean, I'll go ahead and play that if you really want. Otherwise, I was about to fucking start the Honest Hearts DLC. Fuck me. Okay. That's better. So. Sorry about the technical issues. But we are going to be playing some more Fallout New Vegas. Because we have recently finished with Old World Blues. We found all the weapons we wanted to find. Well, not exactly. I still haven't upgraded one of the K9000 Cyberdogs I got to the 44 Magnum version, which is what I really wanted, but I found schematics for it, and I could do that uh, at some point. But we are going to be playing the Honest Hearts DLC, which means that we have got lots of difficult choices to make in terms of what we can actually take with us, because there is a carry weight limit. Regardless of what our character can actually take with us, the Happy Trails Caravan has a carry weight limit. From memory, it's either 150 or 175 pounds, which means I'll be able to carry my power armor and stealth armor and a very select few choice of weapons. That's it. I mean, I might not be able to carry all my doctor bags as well. Then again, I'm carrying 20 and they weigh like 10 pounds. The power armor's like 40 plus the helmet, five, Stealth armor's another 20. So that's 65, 75 pounds already. So if my memory is correct, we can only carry either another 75 or 100 pounds of equipment. Luckily, we're not playing on hardcore mode, so our ammo doesn't weigh anything. But we have lots and lots of guns, which means... Lots and lots of hard choices. So, without further ado, let's get into this shit. Sorry for being so fucking late, but I have slept. Again. It's been happening a lot lately. Tired of having to drop gear to make a trip back to the store, 
With a long haul perk, you can fast travel even when you're over encumbered. Well, it's a good thing I have that perk. Yeah, before I ended the episode, I was trying to make my way to the Legates camp. And I don't think there's any legitimate way for you to get inside of there. Because the moment you leave the fort, you get teleported back to Cottonwood Cove. So unless I can make my way across this river and through this deathclaw infested valley... Hmm. Oh, I am so sorry, man. I started this way too late. God damn. Well, I might not be able to show you much of Honest Hearts then, if that's the case. Shit. I feel bad. Well, I could at least find out the weight limit before I go there, because, again, lots of hard choices for me to make. I even just found a new minigun, and this thing's heavy. Now, Jed Masterson. This guy's voice actor is very well known in the video game industry. You might know him as Lee from The Walking Dead. Howdy, friend. Heard my little broadcast, did you? Yeah. You look the type. Hang on. Ain't you the one that wiped out the Crimson Caravan's Vegas branch not too long ago? Yeah, Auto killed Alice. Alice. Knocking the Glafferty out of the running gives happy trails a market to expand into. Alright. I understand this caravan is headed to Zion. What can you tell me about the area? Well, I ain't never been inside myself. <coughs> Did some trading with the new Canaanites from their mission there. But that was all on the outskirts. All the old ways in and out were destroyed after the war. But we got ourselves the location of a pass the new Canaanites use. That's our way in. That's why I wanted someone with a pit boy on the caravan. The map will be helpful for checking the topography, keeping us on the trail. Okay. I haven't been through Utah recently. What's the situation like? Well, it ain't good. I'll tell you that. It's not like the Mojave or the NCR. Hell, even Arizona under Caesar is safe. You got raiders all over the damn place. Tribes of degenerates that'll eat you as soon as look at you. Regional warlords, the works. Not too many decent places to stop and trade. New Canaan's one of the only ones left I know about. Degenerate tribes. That's right. The folks that lived in Zion before the war, they didn't just get a little savage. They're downright feral. Most of them don't even speak English anymore. You've got to get yourself a new Canaanite translator to talk to them. The ones you really got to watch out for are the White Legs from the Great Salt Lake. They'll attack just about anyone that ain't one of theirs. Tell me about the Raiders. They're about what you'd expect. Crazy. Jacked up on Kim, violent as hell, and not too bright. The worst of the 80s. But we won't be passing through their turf on this run. Warlords? How dangerous are they? Dangerous enough we won't be going near them if we can help it. I got no desire for my head to decorate some little gas station for its walls, thanks. Okay. Uh... Tell me more about the job. The job is simple. Help us get this caravan in design and find new Canaan. The pay is 25 caps per day. Half up front, half on return. You'll get a how bonus the fuck is that gonna design. work? You know exactly Plus how many days it'll take? Reach new Canaan. Oh, uh, one more thing. Don't mention the name Joshua Graham to anyone. Anyone. Who is Joshua Graham and why shouldn't I talk about him? I know who he is, he's the burn man, but let's go. Just dump. It makes the new Canaanites powerful uncomfortable, and it scares the britches off the tribals. Don't talk about the burn man either while you're at it. Trust me on this one. It's for your own good. Okay. We're all ready to get going. I bet you are. But we only got room for one more on this expedition. You'll have to leave your friends behind. Tell me more about Happy Trails. We're a smaller company out of Sac Oh, fuck! In the northern part of the NCR. We run some business through New Reno. They're on the little loop. Had a nice run to Salt Lake City, too, but uh, then we lost contact with New Canaan. And that went all to hell. 
Sounds like Happy Trails isn't in the best financial shape. You ain't wrong. Losing the Salt Lake City run really stung us. If we can't reestablish contact with this run, we'll be in real trouble. So, we can only carry 75 pounds worth of equipment. Full stop. Which means, if I take my power armor, my stealth suit, and my doctor bags, we are already at the weight limit. Just with those alone, without any fucking guns to protect ourselves. This is going to be a difficult, difficult, difficult choice to make. Because I really don't know what armor I'm going to find or use there. Because I can only carry 75 pounds, and I like all the guns I have. I know I'll get plenty more loot there, but... I won't be able to carry my power armor or my stealth suit, which means I effectively won't have stealth boys. I guess that's okay. My stealth is high enough. But I won't be able to bring my doctor bags, and most of my guns will have to stay home. Like, almost all of them. I don't even think I'll be able to take the anti-material rifle. Okay, so why can't you get to Salt Lake, Salt Lake City? Without New Canaan's mission in Zion, the only ways to Salt Lake City are down the old I-80, or up through Ogden. The highway is too risky. NCR's rangers are so busy here in the Mojave, they don't have the manpower to keep the raiders off. Ogden's just too far. We'd lose more in travel expenses than we'd ever earn. What can you tell me about New Canaan? Don't know much about the place, but I can tell you about the people. The new Canaanites were some kind of religious group from before the war. They controlled the old city of Ogden, a ways north of Zion. And they got themselves a nice defensible mission in the canyon itself. Or they did. Did? They trade a fair bit with the tribes in Zion. Well, the ones that don't try to kill them anyways. Do you know anything about their religion? I ain't a praying man myself. They paid for their goods and dealt square with us. That's all I ever cared about. But don't think that just because they're religious, that they're pacifists. They take care of their own, and they're damn fine marksmen, too. You don't know what happened to their mission? Nope. Hence this caravan. If we don't make contact with the new Canaanites, Happy Trails might as well just shrivel up and die. Oh, that is morbidly ironic, considering what happens when we get there. Okay. Stella, I was actually super excited when I first talked to this character just to watch you get fucking sniped instantly. That was a bummer. Ricky. Fucking Ricky. You looking for trouble, bud? I got plenty to spare. So watch your ass around me. Unwarranted hostility and general agitation. How long have you been a psycho addict? Hey, 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 fuck you! I didn't say nothing about using Psycho! How much Psycho you got stashed away? If you run out on the trail, the withdrawal's not pleasant. God damn it! I didn't say nothing about using Psycho. But, uh, just talking hypnotheoretically here, got any suggestions? Uh... Yeah, leave now, before the withdrawal hits you out on the trail. No psycho for miles. Fine. You win, asshole. Enjoy leading the expedition into a fucking ambush. Hope you all die! Unfortunately, that's exactly what happens to all of us. If Caesar's uh, dead, why ain't the NCR taking care of regular folks yet? Stella! Oh, good. Because the last time I talked to her, she told me she, that I was like a scrawny little runt. What are you doing here? Earning my keep. Jed hired me on as a caravan guard for this expedition of his. The work suits me. I've tried staying put in one place, but it never works out. Grew up in New Reno, and I couldn't put that snake pit behind me fast enough. Then I wound up wasting the prime of my life playing sheriff in Caliente. Little town north on the 93. Talk about a pain in the ass. You ask me, best to keep moving. At least the scenery changes. Alright, what was that like to grow up in a new Reno? 
Imagine New Vegas if there was no Mr. House type fella keeping the peace. Then give everybody a gun and a jet addiction. Town's run by a bunch of crime families. No law to speak of. Make trouble and you wind up buried in Golgotha outside town. The scuzz factor's off the charts. Non-stop whoring and drugs. Couldn't walk down the street without getting asked to star in a porn movie. So I got my ass out of there while I still owned it. Guess I figured the answer to every problem was rule of law. Naive, huh? This is the wasteland. There is no fucking law. Tell me about Caliente. Place lived up to its name, that's for sure. When you got fresh water and a trickle of geothermic power, always be some gang of assholes wants to kill you for it. Spent more years and took more bullets than I care to admit protecting that hellhole from dangers within and without. If it wasn't the 80s or the white legs raiding, it was someone from town drunk off his ass trying to win an argument with a shotgun. Got tired of shooting the folks I was supposed to protect. So, now I do this. Were the 80s a gang or a tribe? What's the difference? Raiders is raiders. A bunch of them swept into town and dragged off two working girls. Deputies and me gave pursuit straight into 80s territory. By the time we caught up with the girls, there wasn't much left of them, so we turned for home. Made it back to Caliente without further losses, but we was watched the whole way. Never seen so few people cover so much land. Goddamn creepy. If the 80s had wanted to kill us, we would have been dead. Guess they figured we weren't worth the trouble. What do you know about the White Legs? Used to be they raided northeast of Caliente time to time. But then the desert rangers fell apart ten years ago, absorbed into the NCR. Soon enough, the White Legs were swarming all over that stretch of I-15. Folks learned not to head north if they wanted to keep their scalps. Oh man, they scalp people! The across the Virgin River over in Arizona. End of discussion. Alright, goodbye. Fuck, I need to fucking come back here with 75 pounds worth of equipment and no followers. Which probably means I can't carry either one of my fucking miniguns, because I've got two now, and I probably can't carry my fucking Gatling laser either. Yeah, that fucking weighs nine pounds. How much is that other one? Also nine pounds. Fuck. all those because I can turn that back in the ammo.
Fuck, this is so hard! There's so many guns I want to take! Ah! Bruh. With no guns, we're barely under the weight limit. Are you fucking kidding me? I don't even want to leave these in the Lucky 38 because the followers that you have here can just, you know, sort of go up to any of the fucking containers you've left and interact with them, take whatever shit they want out of them. Would not be surprised if I've already lost a few guns that way. Okay, if I go to Big Mountain, then I can store shit there, and I'm pretty sure there's a workbench there, but I'll just finish converting all my ammo before I go to Big Mountain.
Oh, whoops. I guess I'll go oh. get Boone. <coughs> so I did look up a guide uh, asking what happens if you recruit Boone or Raul or the others and they don't come with you, whether you're with a fucking follower or whatever, they're supposed to go to their homes. So, Boone is supposed to be in Boone's motel room. Or the dinosaur. But the last time I was here, I didn't fucking see him. And he's still not here. So I guess he might be in the dinosaur, but at this time of day, many Vargas is usually up there. So I guess I'll wait till night time. Cliff Briscoe, greatest of all time, Welcome got back. me fucking C4 when I needed it. How you going, my dude? Sure thing. Have a look. Oh, you even got more C4, you fucking G. Mate, you are literally the only motherfucker I can buy C4 from reliably. six hours because it said he would be like he said he'd be up here up to like nine o'clock how'd you go mate how'd you go <laughs> i'm fucking looking for boone i have no idea where that motherfucker went i looked up a guide and supposedly supposedly he'll just be in the dinosaur or his motel room he's not fucking there and raul he will supposedly be either a Black Mountain or his house. I've been to his house. Motherfucker wasn't there. Alright, Manny's heading inside. So surely Boone is coming out. Looking for your breath. Fucking hopefully you'll catch it soon, mate. Dear Lord. Where is this motherfucker? Do you know where Boone is? I hope good things come your way. Thank you, but that doesn't help me. Where's Boone?
What the fuck? Was that Cliff Briscoe? Why was he in here? Wait, no, that was Chris Haverson. Hey Why were you in there? Welcome to Novak. My I guess he's just living with Manny. What's going on, man? Uh, who are you? Uh, who's Boone? Boone's a sniper. After we got out, I'd introduced. Okay, so why are you on bad terms with with Boone? Me and his wife. We didn't see eye to eye on some things. We had some pretty big arguments. <laughs> One day she turns up missing, and he hasn't said a word to me since. What did you and Boone's wife argue about? And you name it. See, I grew up in North Vegas. Me and my cousins. We were some bad seeds. I literally yeah, did. It said he it. fucking like Something hangs happened. around Novak. I, I don't know where he's so gone. Enlisted, earned my future, brought down my best friend to share that future with me. And here was this woman who was too good for it, trying to take him away. So yeah, I didn't see eye to eye with the bitch. So you were in a gang. Were they tough? Were they tough? I was in the con, man. It doesn't get any better. Potentially, the... Alright, the thing that'll prove if it's glitched is if I go to fucking... If I go to Black Mountain and Raul's not there, because he's not at his house, and there's no other place where he could have gone, because I hadn't discovered or been inside the Lucky 38 at that point. Because he's not at his shack. That's his house. That's Raul's shack. Yeah, he's not in here. There's no one in here. So where's Black Mountain? There it is. Alright, Sif so mutants are no longer hostile. I didn't kill Tabitha. I fixed the robot friend that he that she had. Man, seventy five pounds. I can barely carry anything, let alone my armor. Like, I thought it was 175? No, 75. Holy fuck. Okay, so Raul was in here. Nope, he was in a different part of this building. Power armor and medicine stick. I don't have that much 4570 though. I need to buy way more 4570 if I was gonna take only the medicine stick. Oh, Nah, fucking I'd actually need way more. If I'm gonna take just one gun, I think I have to go based on the most amount of ammo that I have. Which is probably going to be one of my laser pistols. Could be Vengeance. It could even be the anti-material rifle. I do have a lot of 12 gauge though. Yeah, we're taking the anti-material rifle. Alright, anti-material rifle, that's all we need. Oh no, how dare I unlock a gate. That was so evil of me. Okay, wait, is that the only way up there? So I had to have, I had to unlock that gate?
This is gate- oh my god. I have to go inside of the building to get through that part. Okay. I do have the carbon fiber body on my anti-material rifle, so it only weighs like six and a half pounds. I've got plenty of ammo for it. Way more than I've got for my 4570. Okay, I really don't know where Raul is. Yeah, because Raul was sitting right here. Yeah, fucking... I don't know where he's gone. He's just gone. And when I fixed Edie, he just fucking buggered off. I don't know where Edie went either. I suppose I could bring Lily to the fucking... Lucky 38 at least. Oh no, have I lost Lily as well? Where's Lily? gone too. What the fuck? I thought she would have stayed at Jacobstown. Huh. Pinball machine. You said? Oh, I can't use it. Really? Where the fuck is she? I'm looking for her. I have no fucking clue where Lily's gone. She's not taking care of her big horners anymore. I don't remember telling her to go to the Lucky 38. Man, they're all just gone. Shut up, New Vegas. Stop making glitchy noises. Thank you. Wait, isn't there a companion terminal in the Lucky 38? I swear there's a companion terminal in the Lucky 38. What if I use that? Oh, for fuck. Wow. I can't even have Rex with me when I'm using the fucking big mountain transport ponder. 
Okay, I'm gonna use the fucking follower terminal at the Lucky 38 if I can find it. I forget where exactly it is, but I know it's in the Lucky 38. I definitely recruited them, but I just never actually, like, got them to follow me because I had someone else with me at the time. In almost all cases, it was Forks. Although I did actually have Lily with me as a follower at one point. I told Forks to wait at Jacobstown. Is this the follower terminal? Dismiss all companions. Okay. Okay, so if I go into the presidential suite, the Lucky 38 is not empty. Why is it not empty? Are they glitched because Fox and Dog Meter here? That's the only thing that I could think of. Because they're not supposed to be here. Well, Rex has just gone back to Freeside. I wonder what happens now if I go to Novak or fucking Big Mountain. Or Black Mountain. Boone's not here. I have no idea where Boone is. Yeah, like, there's so many cool things and bug fixes the Tale of Two Wastelands has added in, but then... Wow, that is pretty fucking game-breaking. A fucking follower bug. Oh, well. I haven't gotten Arcade Ganon as a follower yet. I suppose I should go to Old Mormon Fort. Might as well get Rex back on the way. I need him to get the remnants. I'll make them fight for NCR. Uh, where's Rex? What the fuck? It said Rex returned to Freeside. Where's Rex? Figaro. Oh, the knife. Uh, I forget where it is, but no, I don't have Figaro. Oh, from Pacer. Well, I didn't kill Pacer, so no. I could have sworn there was like a barber area that actually had like a unique razor in it as well. One fucked up nine iron.
Evening. Hmm. Maybe I'm just remembering something wrong. Wouldn't be the first time. Oh, there's Rex! Hello, boy! Let's go! Well, uh... I don't exactly have homework anymore, but, uh... I did go to bed after... 3 a.m.? Fucking dumb thing was, my alarm actually did wake me up. I just fell back asleep. I had an alarm at like 9.30. Oh wait, I'm going to Old Moment 4. I gave Rex Looper's brain. No, not Looper, the fucking... the fiend one, Violetta. I gave Rex Violetta's brain so he's fucking stupid fast. Oh my god, rat, please! Did your homeboy get his homework done into bed at a decent time last night? What, Mr. House? Yo. Hi. If you're looking for medical help, try the other doctors. I'm just a researcher. Not even a particularly good one. Uh, what kind, why do you do research instead of providing medical assistance? Not all followers are people persons. Besides, someone needs to do research. I have no problem with Julie sticking me back here. Out of sight, oh. don't mind. There are worse things one can do, though I do admit. Uh, honestly, I don't know. I didn't ask. I didn't see if that kid had any homework to do. He probably does. If he was anything like me as a kid, he's fucking waiting until the last minute to do it. Alright, why don't you come with me? No offense intended, but why should I go anywhere with you? Things are bad around here. I'd like to make a difference, and I'd like you to help me. Hmm. That seems appropriately resolute and yet vague. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt and go with you, but let me be clear about something. If you plan to help Caesar's Legion, this is going to be a brief relationship. I may not have all the answers for how to fix Freeside's problems, but Caesar taking control isn't part of the solution. Fair? Fair. A courier, doctor, and a cybernetic dog. After we deal with the whole imminent conquest of New Vegas problem, we should open an act of the times. <laughs> all right. So just as I suspected, I am still able to level up despite having all of my skills at 100. Which means, if I am correct, the new level cap is level 75. And I'll be able to take a perk every fucking time. Let's go, cunt. That's a pretty good perk. We're about to go to Zion, that could be fucking helpful.
Ah, eh, fuck it, I'm broke. Alright. So now, we need to go to at least six locations with Ganon as our party member in order for him to trigger lots of dialogue all about the Enclave. We need to go to at least six different triggers. I'm not exactly a mercenary, but taking out scumbags at this magnitude wouldn't cause me to lose any sleep. Oh yeah, I killed Caesar. What do you have to say about that? What's up? Absolutely nothing. All right. It's a good thing I took the Explorer perk, because I don't know where that crashed Verde Bird is normally. I think a few of the other places that we need to go are Helios 1, the Repcon facility, um... Like the headquarters, not the fucking rocket launch pad. Um, hmm, what else? I don't remember. Should be able to find some Enclave power armor here. fucking destroyed what was left of him. following the map marker, not the fucking... <sighs> I was going the wrong way this whole time. Use this new one. All right, maybe not the new one. Let's try. Uh, let's try good old Eugene. Oh, he had a battle rifle. Damn. That guy definitely killed a leash. A fucking uh, NCR patrol on now. Something. Yeah, I mean... 
as long as I have stim packs, I basically can't die. Hidden supply cave, what? The fuck is this? There is a set of Enclave power armor at this crashed vertibird. It's probably in pretty horrible condition, but I'm gonna give it to fucking Arcade. Who's that? Oi! Oh, alright. She's the Gobi campaign rifle. Please stop moving. Wouldn't have felt a thing. Oh, who's that? Wait, is that a fucking... Oh, I'm not even gonna worry about that. Fucking box scorpion. base. I'm pretty sure it's a legion base. Oh, that didn't scare the shit out of me this time. This time. Wolfhorn Ranch. Oh. Oh, uh, don't kill the prospector. That's not an enemy. That's right. Unique fucking cleaver. Chopper. Hmm. This presents a problem. Oh well. Pretty sure that up ahead is the town that the Legion dirty bombed. They raided Farmstead. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure that over there is the town that the Legion fucking dirty bombed. Totally aren't gun vipers. Oh, they actually are. Just big horners and drama. Tip 15 unique ramen. Okay. Alright, no worries, man. I'll see if I can uh, actually start fucking honest hearts at a decent time. For now, I'll just be gathering the remnants and any other followers I can find. Good night, Royal Highness. Sorry for starting so late. Oh, I can't tip the big horners. Okay. There it is, that's the crater. There's the crash vertebrate. Father Elijah's lair is broken. Ah. A vertebrate. Interesting. It's been a long time since I've seen one of these. When was that? Huh. Good question. Must have been in a book. Alright, I swear there's enclave armor on one of these motherfuckers. None? Really? Just the Tesla cannon? Damn. Alright, well, I suppose I'll check out the town that the Legion dirty bombed, because it's filled with ghouls. Oh, hello. Speaking of... That is most definitely the town that the Legion Dirty Bombed, because that is a feral ghoul trooper. Wow. I've already lost where that guy was.
don't think that was supposed to happen. Ugh. Just as a warning, my covert bandaging. Yeah, you see that gray fucking way that's coming over the sky? That's from the, the dirty bomb that was detonated in that town over there. The Legion did that. Oh lol, Rex has fucking destroyed him. Yeah, this is most definitely it. Radiation signs everywhere. Whole town's filled with ghouls. Trooper ghouls. Oh, well. Just as a warning, my covert bandaging skills are a little...
Looks like break time's over. Hang on there, Traveler. You'll want to steer clear of this place. The whole town's irradiated to high hell. Yeah, I could see that. If it's filled with radiation, why are you still here? I was stationed at Camp Searchlight before the incident. I've since taken it upon myself to keep travelers away from the area. What happened? Some legionaries snuck into the camp and set off some kind of radiation bomb. I don't know where they got it, but it was damn effective. Killed almost everyone and turned the rest into ghouls. How'd you survive? I was out on patrol at the time, so I wasn't in the camp when it happened. There were a few others with me after it happened, including some of my superiors. Between radiation poisoning and attacks by the Legion, they all died out. How the fuck are you alive then? How'd the Legion get in? I don't know, unfortunately. There may be clues somewhere inside the camp, but I'm not about to run in there to find out. seems to be one of the primary crossing points for Legion raiding parties. Is there anything you need done? You can scout out the camp, bring back any intel on troop movement or plans for future raids. The Rangers could put that information to good use. <coughs> and also, if you're any good at covert, I'd uh, love to get a bug planted on the radio. So far, we've been unable to crack their encryption. I already took care of the camp. What? How'd you pull it off? I released some barrels of radioactive waste. That's exactly what we needed to put a cork in that camp. The Legion won't be moving through there anytime soon. It's a fitting revenge for Searchlight. Thanks for taking care of those bastards for us. Very cool. So where should I go instead? Head north toward Novak. <coughs> for a big dinosaur. <coughs> the whole area is irradiated and filled with mutated creatures. Mostly ghouls and a handful of rad scorps. I think some geckos moved in not too long ago. They seem to stick mostly to the south end of the camp. Okay, I have to go now. Actually, be back. None that aren't feral ghouls. Those poor bastards. I can't imagine how they must be suffering. I'd like to put them out of their misery, but I don't have the heart to do it. Can you do me a favor? What kind of favor? I want you to put some troopers that change. <coughs> sure, I'll do it. Thank you. Could you bring me their dog tags? Some of the troopers should still be wearing them. I'll give you some caps for each one you bring back to me. There's a rifle in it for you if you can bring me at least ten. Oh, I'll take these radiation supplies. Yes, I will. Fucking... Oh, damn it. I'll be back though. 
quick bathroom break.
Apologies. So sorry. Okay. So he wants us to get ten dog tags. Okay, I have dog tags for you. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Hey. So I've killed all the ghouls that are in the town that are actually hostile. There's one left, but he's not hostile. We need his dog tag. But we don't have to kill him. He is a ghoul. But he's not feral. He should be in one of the houses, the only one that's not boarded up. Well, there's the geckos. presents a problem. It might be this house. Those fiends on the run, I should head over to Vault 3 and see if I can pull some salvage out of them. Have you seen that? Who the fuck are you? I could ask you the same thing. Name's Logan. What the hell do you want? Why the hostility? Look, I don't need your shit. Either get out of the way, or things are gonna get rough. Power on. What do you want now? Are you looking for something? That's none of your damn business. Can you tell me anything about this place? 
All I know is the whole place is filled with radiation. There are nasty creatures roaming about. And that my employer is paying me a pretty penny to loot it. Who is your employer? Some caravan company. Crimson something or other. Some old broad said they were looking to expand their business, be more competitive or some shit. Oh, ah, so you're being hired by Crimson Caravan to loot a fucking NCR camp. That's a war crime. Bro. Really? Alice McLafferty's dead though, how is that quest even possible? Someone finally put down that sick motor runner son of a bitch. So much for the mob at the NCR. Their president got killed over at Hoover Dam. The NCR took back Nelson. Maybe they can win this war after all. Those fiend junkies over at Vault 3 been taking some hits. Four minutes to four twenty. The strip's not a bad place if you love terrible things and people. I'll never understand the allure of giving away your money to the rich.
One minute to 420. Might as well pack me cone. Still got a bunch of places to go with Arcade, like the Repcon facility, the HQ. Where is Repcon? Repcon... There's a test site. This is a HQ. 420. HQ, yep. I've read about Repcon. I think they did some work with the, <coughs> the government before the war. Rockets and some energy weapon prototypes, I think. <coughs> An odd combination. Repcon went through some rough times. When the rocket business was shaky, Mr. House purchased the company. It didn't take long for him to repurpose their plasma technology for a government weapon contract. <coughs> How do you know so much about this again? Stop thinking so much. <laughs> Thanks. I need to talk to you about something, if you have a minute. Sure. Any day now? Caesar's going to try to march across Hoover Dam and kick NCR out of the Mojave. We're getting caught up in something important out here. Hell, after how you handled Benny, you're practically right in the middle of all this. I know I'm just along for the ride, but it's made me think about the past. How I might be able to help out. Okay, what are you talking about? I wasn't always with the followers. Or with the NCR. My late father was an officer in a group called the Enclave. A remnant of America's pre-war government. Memories being short around here, not a whole lot of people remember them. But they did bad things. Terrorized communities, kidnap people. Eventually someone stopped them. I was born a few years later at a military base on the coast, a place called Navarro. Where did the Enclave go? A lot of different places. I only know what I was told. Some of them were cut down by the NCR and the Brotherhood. Some of them went east. My mother never told me what happened to my father, but she and I went south with some others and integrated into the NCR. When the NCR learned that Enclave personnel had integrated, we kept moving to the fringes. It's one of the reasons why I wound up out here. What happened to Navarro? After the Enclave's command structure fell apart, it was only a matter of time before Navarro was overrun by NCR forces. My mother and I left with some of the troopers from my father's old unit. The same people I've kept in contact with over the years. Anyone who didn't get out was killed by the NCR. Even some of the ones who escaped were eventually hunted down by the Brotherhood of Steel. Where are you going with all this? The Enclave did a lot of bad things. <coughs> but there were good people at the bar. People with a lot of experience. Not many of them are alive anymore, but I think they can make a difference in the fight against Sea. Do you want them to help NCR? That's a hard question to answer. I know I don't want the Legion to take Hoover Dam. So militarily, yes, I want them to help NCR. If possible, I'd like to figure out a way to help the NCR win Hoover Dam without holding New Vegas. Say no more, I'll do it. Great. I'd like you to talk to the old timers, the remnants. I don't think I can convince them by myself. To them, I'm still a kid. But you're a big part of what's happening out here. When you talk to them, they'll understand how important this all is. I've kept in contact with them over the years, so I know where you can find them. But I doubt they'll open up to you unless I come along. Okay. I know I'm not always the most serious guy around, but this means a lot to me. Thanks.
for old legs sing. German for for old times sake. It's also a reference to a joint to a German song of the same name. You find there's a lot of music references in pretty much all of the New Vegas quest names. Those that aren't gambling references anyway. I'll see even some that are. Alright, so we need to talk to that doctor guy. Yo! Is there something else I can do for you? Uh, Arcade Ganon has asked me to gather all the former members of the Enclave in the Mojave. I'm intrigued, so I'll go to this reunion. I'll be handing things over to Calamity, so talk to her if anything comes up. Oh, you'll need my word from the past phrase to get into the bunker. Friends. Don't forget it. Friends. Okay. Doc Henry always was a hard one to figure out. It didn't seem to matter whether he was working with humans or dogs. He had an equal lack of affection for both. A regular Diogenes. I'm not sure what the man was after. Knowledge is power, but to what end for Henry, I have no idea. The problem was what mattered to him, not its practical impact. He simply solved riddles because they existed. His work was what mattered to him. Not everyone dreams of being a revolutionary, I suppose. Maybe we can't all change the world. Maybe it's enough just to do good for the short time that we're here. No one's going to sing Doc Henry's praises when he's gone. But he's probably saved more lives than I ever will. Alright, this is, uh... Orion, I think. That sweetie sure is, huh? West side, huh? I passed through here with another follower a while back, Anderson. The locals were having a lot of trouble getting water through. Studa Krieger, around rather. The attractions. Arcade asked me to find you. I'm gathering the remnants. Hello, Arcade. Making some new friends, are you? Why the need for a bunch of old war horses like us? You'll be the element of surprise. Swooping in on a vertebrate, guns blazing? Haven't done that in years. All right, I'm in. None of this means a thing if the rest of the group doesn't show up. Oh, and you'll need my part of the passphrase to get into the bunker. Navarro. Okay. Judah Krieger is the glue that's kept us all together over the years, and with good reason. Anyone who can command Moreno and Johnson in the same unit without somebody getting fragged is one hell of a leader. Krieger was polite and kind, but never warm. He always did his best to make me feel welcome in the group. I think he did it out of a sense of loyalty to my father. Loyalty means a lot to Judah. Not loyalty to the Enclave, or even the ideals they fought for, but to the people who served with him. They're loyal to you, too. Sometimes I wonder how much of my father they see in me. They went through a lot together, but my family went through it, too. I'm glad they've watched out for me all these years. Maybe someday I can return the favor. Is it me, or has the Brotherhood stopped engaging? Smartest move they ever made, if you ask me.
Oh, looks like I forgot to lock the doors again. If you're with the NCR, get out. This place is mine, and I'm not leaving. Arcade and I were looking for you. We're gathering the remnants. In a while, Arcade. So, what's the point of all this? Can't find any younger mercenaries? Your advanced level of tech would be useful in settling things between the NCR and the Legion. Is that right? The million dollar question is, who exactly are we settling? Do you have a preference? I wouldn't mind cutting down a few platoons of NCR troopers with my old Gatling laser. I want to help the Legion know. Are you coming to this thing or what? Oh, I'll come. But depending on the plan, I might not be staying. Keep that in mind. Arcade might have mentioned there's a passphrase needed to get into the bunker. My part is remember. Old friends Moreno remember took the of the Enclave hard. Navarro. He never questioned his orders, never questioned the legitimacy of what the Enclave was doing. To him, it was all one unbroken chain, from Washington to Richardson. When we left Navarro, I remember looking up at Moreno. He said, kiss America goodbye, boys. When we left the Enclave behind, the love in him burned itself out. Now there's just a bitter old man left. Don't be too hard on him. It's part of who he is. I suppose you're right. When you're part of something for that long, maybe it's impossible to let go without losing part of yourself. Moreno may be a stubborn son of a bitch, but at least he's loyal. Travel's been going all right? They have, Daisy. But us, the arcade asked me to find you. I'm reuniting the remnants, and they'll need your piloting skills. Told you everything about us, did he? Well, it's been a while since I've had my hands on the controls of a vertebrate. There's a chance I could crash us in the middle of Lake Mead. That place seems to attract aircraft for some reason. But if I get one more chance to fly, count me in. I'll be there. My part of the passphrase is dear. Dear friends, remember Navarro. Dear old friends, Watch remember your six Navarro. Out there. Since my mother died, Daisy's been the only woman in my life. She was the only other woman close to my father, too. She flew him out on over a dozen missions, including his last. I've always been close to Daisy. There have been some good men along the way, but lovers make poor confidants. Daisy never had children of her own, so she was always there to listen. Being in the Enclave didn't mean much to her. She just loved to fly. It broke her heart to be grounded. It was an important part of her life. Why shouldn't she enjoy it? As screwed up as it sounds, at least she was a part of something. Granted, it was something admittedly pretty bad, but it was something. If you spent the first half of your life flying enclave troopers in a vertebrate, I suppose picking over pre-war rocket parts doesn't quite compare. What brings you around this time? Arcade asked me to gather all the remaining members of the Enclave in the Mojave. Thought I recognized the fellow with you. So what's this reunion all about then? He thinks your experience and technology will help resolve this conflict, the conflict in this region. Well, now there's an interesting idea. Do a bit of good before we're all dead and forgotten. You can count me in. Oh, and in case Arcade forgot to mention it, there's a five-word passphrase needed to get into the bunker. Dear old friends, remember Navarro. Appropriate, huh? 
If I had to pick anyone who didn't belong in the Enclave, it would definitely be Johnson. He hated what the Enclave was doing. Day to day, week to week, he would question orders, subvert mission objectives, do anything he could to serve without serving. It's amazing he was never court-martialed. He always had good things to say about my father. Said I was like him in a lot of ways. I wish I knew. Why worry about it? You don't have to be your father. I grew up without him. I'll always feel like something is missing from my life, but you're right. It's not like I'm the only kid in the wasteland who's grown up without a dash. Johnson always said my father was a good man. If that's the only thing about me that's like him, that's enough for me. Dear old friends, remember Navarro. Dear old friends, remember Navarro. Oh, okay, it's just already in here, okay. What's up? One of them strip families got killed right in his own casino. You know he pissed off the wrong guy. Glad to see you made it here all right. So, who are we going up against? I want you to help the NCR hold on to the dam. Then that's the plan. We're gonna have a problem with Moreno, though. He won't like that we're helping the NCR. You'll have to talk to him. I'll talk to Moreno. You've got only one chance at this. I know Moreno. Once he's made up his mind about something, there's no changing it. I didn't come all the way out here just so we could save the fucking NCR. I'm out. The remnants come in, guns blazing, showing the NCR how it's done. You actually don't want that. I can't believe you've actually talked me into this. Hmm. Fine, I'm in. But don't expect me to hold my fire if any NCR troops get in the way. Thanks for doing this. Getting them all back together again. I'll be honest. When Moreno started going off, I didn't think we'd all be walking out of there in one piece. I still don't know how this is all going to shake out in the end. But at least the Enclave can atone a bit for all the damage it's done. You've certainly done your part. I've been wondering about Daisy and the others for so long, I still haven't figured out what I should do. I mean, I'm not like them. I was born at Navarro, and my father served with them, but I wasn't really part of the Enclave. It seems presumptuous of me to think I could join the fight, even if this is a cause worth fighting for. Because I know when fighting breaks out of the dam, all hell is going to break loose in Freeside. They're going to need every doctor they can get. Whatever happens in Freeside won't make any difference if the Legion takes the dam. Fight with them. Good point. You've been encouraging the others to stand up in the fight. Maybe I should take the same advice. After all, I also lived in Navarro. There's something I need to go do, but I'll catch up with you later. Thanks again for your help with the others. It means a lot to me. How's the NCR gonna protect the Vegas if it can't even protect itself in prison? Moreno's a stubborn son of a bitch, but he's also tougher than any of us. I'm glad you were able to talk him into staying. Since Whitman will be staying with the Vertibird, she's offered to give her old suit of power armor to you. You'll need special training to use it properly, so talk to her as soon as you get the chance. I'll talk to her then. The training might take several hours, so keep that in mind. I appreciate you keeping Orion in the group. And since I won't be needing my armor, makes the cockpit a bit cramped you should take it it'll take a few hours to show you how to use it properly so let's get started
Have you seen that tower they on say the those strip robots all on the strip running around with you can different see faces it from or something? Miles. Don't ask, because I don't know. Like I said, I needed to go do something. This is it. It belonged to my father. Since you convinced me to help out with the defense of Hooper Dam, I figured I'd haul it out of storage. I'm a little rusty with it, but I think I can manage. As long as you got my back, of course. What's up? What's up? Well, now I have a set of Remnant's power armor, which is fucking cool. Except I can't exactly use it. Yeah, the, uh... T-51B is actually just way fucking better as well. Even damaged. Although this does look pretty sweet. Thank you for visiting New Vegas.
service tank
will serve you stay. That's a weird glitch, what the fuck? So I'm just going to look all the way down at the ground, and look, it's it's rotated the camera. What the fuck? Once again, I blame the PS3. That port is why every other port of New Vegas is so butchered. Because Josh Sawyer insisted on the game being playable on every platform and the strip being visible on every platform. Which meant that if the PS3 version needed to have loading screens in between the strip, well, so did every other version. They were trying to release the same version of every game. Trying.
this is a problem. Okay. That is what I will take with me. I shall quickly go to um, Vault 21, and I'll also do a bunch of other fucking NCR quests before I leave, because I know that there's a bunch that I have not done. And I even have some quest items in my inventory for those quests that I'm still carrying. Huh. And the Brahmin has disappeared. Who are you, miss? Some I've random gambler. Yep. Yo. Hey, stranger. Where you been, huh? I missed you. Well, pass by my room and we'll catch up. You're kicking me into gear, huh? Well. I think I'll drive my chassis over to your pad. Wait for me down there and don't forget the oil. Give me a few to close the shop. I'll meet you at the back. Oh yes, uh sex scene upcoming. It's, uh, you don't see anything, but, uh, you hear a lot. Hello. Hello, Sarah. Oh, my. I am now well rested. And Sarah, you can go and open your shop again. Plus, I have some vault stew. I have some vault suits for you. What do you need? Cool. You. All right. Nice. Alright, so I've gotten rid of my... Ooh! Ooh! Because I did that, instead of Callahan's Magnum and the Trench Knife, I might be able to take Jack instead. The Anti-Material Rifle and Jack, I 
think that is actually all I will need. I mean, we're going to be finding weapons there, like the survivalist rifle and shit. Um, but yeah. I would like to have a melee option that's not the trench knife. The trench knife is good, but Jack is so much better. Exactly 75 pounds. We just need to buy some more stim packs and we are set. Let's go to New Vegas Medical Clinic. Usanagi? Usanagi! Hello! You're back! I need medical supplies. Give me your stim packs, thank you. Kevin. Ringo's still dead. Oh yeah, I probably didn't tip any of these fucking Brahmin. Tip! <laughs> What's up? Hey there. Yep. Sell me your stim pack, sir. All five of them. Wow. Do you have any fifty BMG? My man, you do. That's a 4570. I'll get some of that. Alright. Let's go to the 188 trading post. Now we'll go to Camp Account first, actually. Thank 
Yo. Howdy. No shit. I'll have to start testing this out. What do you... I don't like your... I don't like your kind taking food from my men. Well... Hey, so you're back. You need to clean up your reputation or you're going to get me in trouble. Wow, no normal stim packs. Okay. No fucking weapon mods either? Man, you suck. You at least have riot gear. But man, you suck. Wait a minute. Chance's grave would be marked somewhere, right? Wow, Melissa's still here. How's it going? Why are you still here? Oh shit. Maybe that's why she hasn't left yet.
got to piss me off. I hate Kazados so fucking much. I swear they know when you're aiming at them and deliberately walk away from your path. Yo, oh, fuck this. Oh, that's right, bit of springs. They actually need help. That's what those books are for. Assembling a team to investigate the president's assassination. Going to be one hell of a report. All right, uh, I need medical supplies. I'd love to help you out, but I'm pretty strapped here as it is. I really don't have anything to sell you. I just can't believe it. The president's dead. It doesn't even feel real. Why is the flag upside down? It's a distress call. 
This camp is in bad shape, and if we don't get relief soon, I don't know what will happen. What can I do to help? At this point, I'll take anything you can give me. We need more troops, fresh supplies, and medical relief. As if that wasn't enough, someone's been coming out of the mountains at night, stealing supplies and picking off my people. Where would you get your troops from? I don't know. The NCR is stretched thin as it is. I put in requests at Camp Golf, Forlorn Hope, the Karen, but things are no better there. Maybe if their situations improved, they'd have men to spare. Or maybe they'd listen to someone with a reputation for helping the NCR. What kind of supplies? Food, blankets, clothes, tools. The army used to ship out caches of supplies regularly. But with the Legion so active, we haven't gotten any in months. How can I help with medical supplies? You'll want to talk to Lieutenant Markland about that. He's our medical officer. He should be down at the medical tent now. What's this about someone killing refugees? It started about six months ago. At first it was just supplies going missing. We figured it was refugees. Then people started dying. Always a single bullet to the head. Always from extreme range. We've lost eight refugees and three soldiers to this son of a bitch. We know he must be hiding out in one of the caves up in the mountains. But I don't have enough men to send out looking for him. I'd like to ask about something okay. else. I have to go now. Yeah, okay, I wonder where the attacks are coming from. Yeah.
are you? How did you find this place? Are you the one who's been raiding the refugee camp at Bitter Springs? Refugee camp? Is that what they're calling it? Good old NCR. They can whitewash anything. Let me tell you something. That refugee camp, it's built on the blood and tears of my people. Nobody likes to talk about it, but I remember. The people at this camp aren't responsible for your family's death. They're refugees. I know that, but what else can I do? The Khans settled in Red Rock Canyon years ago. It's time to let go of your hate and join them. Maybe. Maybe you're right. Maybe three years is vengeance enough. Thank you for helping me see that. Here, this will unlock the supply caches we left in caves around these mountains. You might get some use out of them. You're back. Any progress on saving our skins? These supplies are irradiated, but if we filter them with Rad X, they'll be safe. We do have some spare Rad X in the supply tent. That might work. Thank you. I've dealt with the attacks on the camp. They won't be a problem anymore. You did? Who was it? Any information you could give me would be a big help for my reports. It was a great Khan raider. He had a base camp in a cave up in the mountains. Really? Well, this canyon used to be a great Khan stronghold. I suppose that explains why he was able to evade us so easily. Well, it's taken care of now. I convinced him to leave Bitter Springs alone. I don't know how you did it, but thank you. I found these supply caches up in caves in the mountain. Maybe they'll help. Where did you get this? You know what? It doesn't even matter. Thank you. This will be a tremendous help. Okay, what else can I do? At this point, I'll take anything you can give me. This... Yeah? Okay, Captain Gillis said to talk to you about medical aid for the tent. Hey, if you can help, I'll take whatever I can get. Doctor's bags would be a huge help, but what I really need are medical texts. I'm not trained to deal with major psychological trauma, and we've got a lot of kids in this camp. Medical texts? Okay. I'll keep my eyes open for books on pediatrics or psychological trauma, then. I also already have them. Both of them? Wow, that's very resourceful. Thank you. Okay. And take one. Are you kidding? All right. I've helped out Forlorn Hope enough, so they should be able to send troops to move to Bitter Springs. 
Hell, the amount of people I helped out has fucking like freed up troops to come here. So fucking back already. What do you need? I need troops at Bitter Springs. You handled yourself well against the Legion, and that took some of the pressure off of us. I'll send a couple troops out there right now. Good. Alright. Camp Golf and Camp McCarran. Don't go in the tent, don't go in the- oh, you fucking cunt. Oi! Not like I even voted for him, but losing the president's a hell of a morale killer. Alright, I need troops for Bitter Springs. After what you did getting my misfits whipped into shape? Yeah, I could spare a couple boys for Bitter Springs. I'll issue the dispatch orders. Okay. Yo, shoot. Yes, what is it? Uh, can you spare troops at Bitter Springs? Well, you have been a great help here, and with the saboteur dealt with. Yes, I think we can spare a few men. Consider it done. Cool. Yo. You've been a huge help here. Thanks to you, I think we can hold this camp together. All right, I think he's doing better. Thanks to your help, I think Bitter Springs has a real shot at surviving. I can't offer much of a reward, but know that the NCR is very grateful. Okay, whatever you can spare would be a big help. Here, take this. I hope you put it to good use. Wow. I guess I could go to Hoover Dam and uh, buy out the armament supply there, if they'll even sell to me. Oh yeah, because we helped out at Helios 1, uh, Fantastic should be here.
fiend leader shouldn't have messed with our great army. Hello there, youngster. Welcome to my baby. Why do you call this place your baby? The power station, the dam. They're my babies. Well, don't tell my grandchildren I said that. <laughs> Anything in here that I haven't rebuilt, I've fixed. I've been here since well before the first battle. I've ground my knuckles on so much cement in here, it is nearly as much me as it is cement. All right. Is it me, or has the Brotherhood stopped engaging us? The smartest move they ever made, if you ask me. I actually don't know where this ammo vendor is, eh?
Our guys put the monorail back to work. I can't believe President Kimball is dead. He was a great leader for the NCR. Unfortunately for you, I'm... I'm not here to make money. I'm here to watch the NCR. Khan's got the hint. We've shown everyone that these are our new territories. Is it me or has the Brotherhood stopped engaging us? Smartest move they ever made, you ask me. Nelson's back in our hands. Our own president murdered. Things aren't looking good. This is it. War is almost upon us. I could have been there to see Caesar die. This is it. War is almost upon us. I don't think you're in the right. I'm on. I'm not required to. Go bugs. Unfortunately, 